How's it going everyone? And welcome back to another episode. As you would have seen in our last video, we had just completed the ground level slab. So in today's episode, we're gonna start the framing of the house from ground level to level one. There's not much to frame on the ground level. It's really just the garage, kitchen, study, and the butler's pantry, which you can see is going out right now in the time-lapse. Down the side of the house, we've lifted up all the flooring and laid down the yellow tongue. So this has worked out really well for us. Since this entire side deck is gonna be used as bathrooms, we're just gonna lay some FC sheeting down on top of the yellow tongue and then pack it up with bedding so it's flush with the interior floor. So now that we've finished the framing for the entire house, we can move on to fixing the old front porch. If you haven't been following along with all the previous videos, this entire front porch of the old house was completely enclosed and turned into a sunroom. And to bring it back to its previous condition, we're gonna rip it all down and turn it into a veranda overlooking the new road. So what we've had to do here is pull the entire thing up and restart from the beginning. Originally, when I looked at this part of the house, what the plan was was to pull down all the walls and all the roof and fix that, and also replace all the decking boards to one with a nicer finish. But as you can see on your screen now, all the joists supporting this entire deck are almost completely rotten away. And now that the entire deck has been pulled down and rebuilt, this is the finished product. So for this house as well, we're also gonna be replacing the entire roof into a corrugated iron finish, but we've pretty much come across the exact same situation as we did when we rebuilt the front veranda, where all the posts and the rafters for the supporting the roof are just completely rotten and are unusable. But the engineer has inspected the main roof structure of the house and is completely happy with that so we can keep all that and just pull down the side and front decks. And now that we've figured out all the areas that are rotten, this is what the house looks like now with the side and the front deck all gone and ready for the new roof. So now that the roof has been removed along these front and side decks, including the roofing, posts and the rafters, we can now begin rebuilding pretty much this exact same roof to connect it back up to the main roofing structure. As you can see on your screen now, the house that when I bought it came with a sort of clip lock system, which is obviously being replaced because it's a sort of new sort of building style. But what we're gonna do now is pull all this off and expose the main roof structure to get it ready for the new corrugated iron roof sheeting that's gonna go down soon. Now that all the old roof sheeting has been removed, we can now start to replace the entire roof. Also, while I had the roof replaced, what I did is order all the windows for the entire house. So what I'm gonna go with is a aluminium framed windows only on the ground level. But what I've done is put a timber reveal along the outside just to tie it in with what we're gonna have going in with the upper level. And for the upper level, what I've done, if you've been following along with all the previous videos, you would have seen that the house came with a green and purple sort of floral stained style 
uh, windows pretty much throughout the entire house. So what I've done is I've pulled them all down and sent it off to a window framing person to have it all fixed up and reinstalled into the house. And as you can see on your screen now, this is us installing the largest five bay window to the rear of the house. So once we had all the roof on and inspected and we installed all the windows for the entire house, what we pretty much focused on now was just getting the house to its lockup stage. So that means we started wrapping the entire house with a silver wrap and then we moved on to cladding. For those who haven't seen this blue builder's wrap that we're putting on now, just cause it's always pretty hidden, no one really sees it. It just acts as a, pretty much just an extra barrier for water and rain and also just helps improve on insulation for the house. What we didn't expect to find in this house was the amount of termite damage, especially even in the hardwood. But this house has so much damage to it that the entire cladding on the outside is just completely unusable, as you can see on our screen now. So what we've had to do is just pull down all the cladding on the entire house and reinstall it with a similar sort of product. And once we then finished the cladding for the entire house, what we did was move on to the front veranda and sort of tedious bits around the house, just because we pretty much just got slammed with three days of non-stop rain in Queensland. So we just sort of finished off all these little bits to a traditional sort of Queenslander style. So everyone, we finally finished the framing the cladding stage of the house. Now we're at lockup and I can show you around the house. The stairs aren't in just yet, but they will go just here. This is the main living room. We have a toilet over there leading to the shared bathroom over here. And you can just see the ensuite right over there. Over on the other side of the living, we have bedroom three and bedroom four over here. Bedroom three has a new door. We're covering this one up now, putting a new door here. And then bedroom four in here. We'll have a full robe going over this side, the window over there to replace. So as we go in through the new door into bedroom three, what you can see on your screens now, what we've done for bedroom two and three here is put a shared wall in the middle, separating two equally spaced wardrobes. As you can see here, this one steps in and the one for bedroom two does the exact opposite on the other side, just to maximize the space in these two bedrooms. Stepping out of bedroom three, we filled the old archway that was here, leading onto the old um, living area behind here, if you remember that. The stairs should be arriving in the next couple of weeks. At the moment, we're just using a ladder to get up to the second level. But as we go down the hallway, see our new decking area outside. This is the master bedroom. We have a walk-in robe over here. Let's just put the bracing play up and it's pretty much ready for the flooring and all that to go in, in the walls. While we're in the master bedroom, we have the ensuite over here with the fixed up colored windows. This room here is pretty much ready for sheeting and all the playing rough-ins, which will be starting next week. And as you walk down to the end of the hallway, we have our new deck extending out to the new road frontage. So we're back into the main living area of the house upstairs. This here will be the shared uh, toilet for the house. Over here will also be the shared bathroom. We've had the bath put in so the tilers can come and do their measure and the joinery people can also measure the cabinet that's gonna go here and the shower that will go over here. Now from the first video where we stripped the ceilings, all this glue is turned out to be a lead product. So we can't strip this back anymore. So what we're gonna to have to do is batten the sheeting down by about 20 or 30 mil and we'll put some gyprock ceilings with some LED downlights throughout the entire house. Now for the downstairs area, as you can see from behind me, this is pretty much all framed and ready to go for the sheeting and the electrical works. This room that we're going into now was the old study on the plans, but what I've decided to do is to keep this wall open just to make the area look a bit bigger when you walk into the house. As we come out of the study, that's our front door over here, we have the dining and living area with a door that we're restoring at the moment on a separate video, but the kitchen will be over here and the butler's pantry leading in to this room here where we keep our site gear. And then coming out of the butler's pantry, what we have is the garage door here. Haven't bored the garage driveway yet, but that is gonna go over here with the new garage door, leading out to a garage door over here as well for the outdoor patio area. And then just in from the garage, we have the laundry over here and a toilet leading out to the patio over there. That is it for today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. In the next set of videos, what I'm gonna be doing is breaking up the individual bedrooms and living and bathroom areas into all its own separate videos so you can see each stage as we progress through the house. If you enjoyed the video today, be sure to hit that like, comment and subscribe button and I'll see you on the next video.